Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcox Media. Today we're going to discuss the 6T40 rotating clutch drum. In the 6T40 there are five friction packs. There are three stationary brakes and two rotating clutches. The rotating clutches are the 3.5 reverse and the 4.5.6. Both of these clutch packs are contained in the same housing. The number one problem that General Motors has had, not only on the 6T40, but on the 6T70, when it comes to the rotating housing, is the 3.5 reverse wave spring. These wave springs are notorious for breaking and uh, they have been updated to a better material. Hopefully that they uh, work long term. Beyond the wave spring breakage, the 6T40 has also had an issue with snap ring pop out. The backing plate is held in position in the drum by a snap ring. There was a slight recess initially, but it wasn't sufficient to keep the snap ring in position. So what General Motors did was to modify the 3-5 uh, reverse backing plate to put a deeper recess in. They also cut a deeper groove into the housing itself and they widened the snap ring so that it ensures that it doesn't pop out. This was something that the 6T70 did not have a problem with. So when you're working on the 6T40, make sure that you have the right combination of the drum, the snap ring, and the backing plate to make sure that you don't have a snap ring pop off like they originally had. The next thing you have to watch for is an upgrade. In 2012, General Motors switched from a Gen 1 to a Gen 2 application. When that occurred, not only was the housing changed, the drum changed, but also the retainer, the spring set, and the piston and the inside of the drum. The Gen 2 application retainer, as you can see, is a much smaller hole. These are bonded retainers. The spring set was also changed and is substantially different than Gen 1. And the piston was modified so that it no longer has a seal groove cut in it like the Gen 1 applications. When that occurred, the inside of the housing or the drum was modified to take the seal uh, that re previously was on the piston itself. Ideally, if you're working on a Generation 1, stick with the Generation 1 components. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching and see you next time.